During the 2024 GTC conference, NVIDIA had officially launched AI Workbench. This is a toolkit aimed at providing developers with the flexibility to collaborate and migrate AI projects to any GPU-enabled environment. Now, this release is somewhat that kind of flew over a lot of people's radar, and it's something that's definitely worth shining a spotlight on. AI Workbench is something that will empower any developer or user to initiate projects locally on a PC or workstation, and this will seamlessly scale them out to various environments, whether that's on the cloud or in a data center, all within a few clicks. Now, one key feature of AI Workbench is its ability to streamline the access to popular resources such as Hugging Face repos, you have GitHub, as well as NVIDIA's NGC. And this is all while offering a simplified user interface. This is a streamlined approach that promises to simplify and accelerate workflows for AI developers or anyone who just wants to migrate AI. Now, if you're curious to see what AI Workbench is in action, just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase over the toolkit. Now, wasn't that amazing? The idea that allows you to customize and run pre-built AI projects in just a few clicks with AI Workbench is definitely something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video, where you can basically run any pre-built AI project by NVIDIA within a few seconds, and this is through AI Workbench. There's endless possibilities, and this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month, we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at NVIDIA's new AI Workbench Toolkit. Now, what we're going to be doing right away is just simply downloading it. So what you can do is head over to this website which i'll leave a link to in the description below to use ai workbench for free support it's available with nvidia ai enterprise license so what you can do now is just download for windows or you can download it for other operating systems so what we're going to be doing is just installing the installer once it installs the exe file we're going to then start installing ai workbench on our, our desktop now before we get to the next step of the video i'm going to be showcasing how to install wsl2 and this is before using AI Workbench, but this is something that isn't actually necessary as AI Workbench actually takes care of setting up WSL. And this is if you do not actually have it installed already, it will be able to install it for you. So you don't even need to worry about it. But this is something that you can install if you're having troubles with it like I was. But this will basically make sure that WSL will be functional with AI Workbench. And the great thing with AI Workbench is that it's going to be actually creating its own separate WSL2 distro. And this is going to be able to maintain the isolation from any existing ones that are on your system. So that it will ensure that the setup doesn't interfere with other setups that you might have. And additionally, all the necessary dependencies for AI Workbench are already installed within specific WSL2 environments. So this will make sure that it's going to keep your system clean and quite organized. Now, something very important to note is that before you install AI Workbench, you need to make sure that you have WSL2 installed on your operating system. So for Windows, you can simply just install this, which is just copying this command, going into your command prompt, and then pasting it right in, and then you can click enter. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to showcase this. But if you are installing for the first time, you're going to need to set a password, and you're going to need to confirm it twice. And once that is done, you can then open up AI Workbench and you can have it started up. So we can see over here that it's downloading WSL distributions. So this is about 600 MB. So once it has finished installing all of this, I'll be able to start it up. After it finishes installing all the distributions, you can then select a container runtime. So if you have Docker already installed, you can just simply select this. And this should be something that many of us should have already. But if you don't, you can just go over to the Docker Docs website 
and get Docker for your OS system. So since we have Windows, we're just gonna be installing it for it. We already have it, but you can just simply click on this, install the installer, and you can just start getting started with Docker. But since we already have it, we're just gonna select this, which is recommended, and then we're gonna click next. Now it's gonna prompt open uh, Windows command processor, which is waiting for the administrator privileges to be accepted. Once that is done, it's gonna start installing and updating all the packages that are needed. And once that has finished installing and updating all the packages, you can simply just click next. And then what you're gonna to need to do is log into a Git server. So you can either do this with GitLab or you can do this with GitHub. But this is something that you can skip and connect to Git servers later. Now, something I wanna clarify is that if you do not go forward with the GitHub authentication, there is gonna be a follow-up step where you as a user will need to configure the Git author. And this is by entering a username as well as an email. So from there, you can get started and just simply click on next. But in this case, if you're gonna be managing different types of credentials or different teams, I definitely recommend that you just select GitHub and log in and get started with it. And once that is done, you're basically all set. So you can just click on let's get started and you can now open up NVIDIA AI Workbench. So you can just simply click next and based on your preferences they already created the first location as to where we're going to be beginning our projects which is our local computer so we can just simply select that i cannot talk and once that is done you can see that you can start a new project or you can clone a project and this is where we talked about it previously you have the nvidia launchpad and this is where you're going to be able to try out all these pre-built ai projects that have been already created by nvidia for example, you have a RAG chatbot system where you can chat with your documents using retrieval augmented generation. You have the ability to customize large language models at any scale where you can view Mistral 7B projects on GitHub that NVIDIA has already created. You also have the ability to generate custom images. So the best case is if you're already working with something that is similar to these different projects that NVIDIA has created, you can just simply get started with it right away. So what we're actually going to be doing is cloning this hybrid RAG project on AI Workbench that NVIDIA has already created. It's something that will let you embed your documents into a vector database while you're running it locally. You can use models like Llama 2 70B or even Mixtral 7B in the cloud. And this is via NVIDIA's inference endpoints. You're able to run quantized versions of Mistral 7B as well as Llama 2 7B locally. And this is on a GPU of just 12 gigabytes of VRAM or higher. You can use your own self-hosted microservices and you can also run different models. And this is through the NVIDIA NIM, which is set of inference microservices for deploying AI models. It is also important to note that you should actually fork the project before you clone it directly. If you don't do this, you won't be able to sync your own changes to your own account. So it's better that you fork the project before you do it, the cloning process. And something cool to also note is that this hybrid project is going to be receiving an update pretty soon so stay tuned on that so what we're going to be doing now is just copying the github repository and then we're going into our ai workbench and we're going to be selecting clone project and pasting in this repository link so what we're going to do now is just simply click on clone this will start cloning the project and once it is done we're going to be able to start working with it so once it has finished building the chatbot for us on our local computer, we can just simply click on open chat. But then you're going to need to provide a Hugging Face token, uh, Hugging Face Hub token, and an NVCF token. So I'm going to provide these and I'll be right back. Now for the NVIDIA NVCF key, you're going to need to go over to this website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. This is how you're going to be able to create your key you're going to need to sign up with an account and once that is done you're going to be able to access the key now once you have created your account you can then head over to this profile picture over here on the top right and you want to click on setup this is where you can generate your key so what you're going to be doing is heading over to the personal key tab and you're going to be clicking on generate personal key once you have done that you want to click on this and you're going to be able to copy your key value which is the nvcf api key that is needed for ai workbench and then what you can do is just simply click on continue and then you're going to be able to start your application up. So this will take a couple of seconds because this is a large file. But once it has finished starting up, I'll be right back. And there we go. On our local host, we have the hybrid drag chat UI opened up. where we're going to be able to chat with Mixtral or even Llama 2. This is where you can also upload your own documents. You're going to be able to upload various file types and have this rag 
chatbot implemented locally on our computer. And it's easy as that, guys. This is something that you can do with this toolkit. It's a brief little demo as to how you can copy and clone various NVIDIA projects quite easily on your computer. Now, say you want to stop the environment. You can just simply go over to environment and then you can just stop the environment over here. So that next time you want to open it up, you can get started with it right away over here. You are going to be able to log through the history where you can see different interactions with your application. You can head over to the settings where you can configure certain things or you can delete the project. Now, say if you're done working with this hybrid drag project, you can then go over to selecting a new project where you can create your own. And this is a great way for you to get started with your own project, set the path and get started with it, which is something that we're going to be doing in a future video, possibly this month or even next month, where we're going to be showcasing the ins and outs of AI Workbench. This was just like a brief overview as to how you can get started with this, because this is definitely a great toolkit that would assist many of us. This is something that's going to streamline the setup process where you're going to be able to experience fast and easy GPU environments with easy setups and configuration. You have the ability to have reproduction line art where you're going to be able to run projects anywhere where you're going to be able to work with workloads quite easily, reducing cost. You're going to be able to reduce the code as well. You're going to be scaling it up and down and achieve the smoothest collaboration across various platforms. You can accelerate AI workflows with this, and this is a great way for you to automate and manage as well as accelerate projects and easily install AI resources like I did today with this RAG hybrid chatbot. This is something that I truly recommend that you take a look at with the links in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video on AI Workbench. There's a lot more to this and it's something that we're going to be covering as we make more videos on this channel. But with that thought guys, make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. Definitely take a look at it the link in the description below because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas